<clears throat> uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the Biden administration's horrific attempt at a successful withdrawal from Afghanistan will go down, in my opinion, in the opinion of many others, as one of the biggest blunders in American military history. And however, it's given us a great opportunity, and through your efforts, uh, I say that uh, in 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 training and lessons that uh, that we have learned. As commander of the Air Mobility Command and the Air Component Commander for Transcom, you oversaw operations with over 250 military air aircraft. In fact, my staff had uh, told me that they had uh, they, the number of sorties were at 2,627. I had them go back and check the accuracy of that. There's just a huge undertaking of what went on. Uh, it included uh, C-17, C-130s, refuelers, KC-135s, KC-10s, maybe even the 46, but um, it, it was huge. Uh, General, in, in AMC's planning for the withdrawal and specifically for the airlift, what were the limiting factors and when and what military advice did you give to your senior leaders on how to withdraw, uh, would be, uh, how the withdrawal would be conducted? Senator, I am proud of how the Airmen of Air Mobility Command executed uh, this uh, campaign in uh, such a dynamic situation. And I think they're probably still riding high on this. They just did, you, you all did such a, a great, great effort. Yes, Senator, and while my advice uh, was limited to the mission I was tasked with, which was airlift um, out of uh, Kabul International Airfield, uh, we, my goal was to ensure that airlift and our supporting ground operations were never a constraint for the Central Command Commander, and due to the heroic efforts of our airmen, we achieved that goal. Well, that's, that is great, and it's uh, it was a, really a job well done. Uh, I mentioned in my opening statement this, uh, where we are right now with this global household goods contract, and the fact that I'm, I'm hoping we're in a position now to have this, uh, get this behind us, it's my understanding it's now being competed again uh, with an award date of this coming month. So uh, what was your feeling about it? Do you believe a, a new system is needed? Do you believe that Transcom's approach is the best uh, path forward? How do you feel about it now? Senator, you've hit upon a key quality of life issue for our service members and their families. And it's clear that the current program is really incapable of consistently uh, providing that quality, capacity, accountability, and transparency that our members and family um, members deserve. So if confirmed, uh, I will ensure as I assess the contract as we move forward uh, in letting that contract that all the mechanisms are in place for the single move manager uh, to be able to effectively execute and meet the standards that our members and families deserve. And we'll get it behind us. Yes, Senator. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Inhofe. 